I am Zulfika Zulfi Butta. I am the Chair in Global Child Health and Policy here at the Centre for Global Child Health Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. And I also head the Institute for Global Health and Development across Aga Khan University campuses. I have been over the last three decades trying to address the whole global challenge of child survival. And specifically, uh, I've been focused on early life, the first thousand days, where not only is the bulk of child mortality clustered, but some of the issues and complications that many mothers and children have, have lifelong consequences, and also consequences that go across generations. And we believe what we have shown is that there are low-cost solutions, there are practical solutions that can be delivered through strategies that reach the most marginalized, through community health workers, through platforms that engage families and communities through self-help awareness, uh, that can make a difference to the world as we stand. So between the year 2000 and 2015, the world has gone down from 10 million preventable under five deaths every year to less than five million deaths. That's the fastest reduction in child mortality in the history of mankind. And how has that happened? Not through happenstance. It happened because people, my colleagues, and many others worked very hard to make the case that this was an important thing to do and that it could be done with targeting in the right geographies. And to have today the work recognized at that global level, I think it's phenomenal. And I am so deeply grateful to the Gardner Foundation for having recognized it. My mother, God bless her, she's almost 95. She spent a lifetime bringing up a family uh, on values that had to do with egalitarianism, that had to do with a sense of social justice. And I think that experience growing up in childhood and in early formative years of one's life sets you up for a trajectory which inevitably takes you down a course of how can you make a difference in your own life. And my dear wife, what I would like to say to her is thank you for what you did to hold my hand and to support me in this journey.